well done on the first with Shoshone Brave. Uh, lovely little pickup drive, lovely horse, got the right trip, travelled well and uh, finished off really strongly for you. Yeah, he um, done what he set out to do today. We weren't sure how uh, far back on the rail he'd land. He doesn't have blistering gate speed, but when he lobbed um, where he did, he was always going to put in a pretty hard bid towards the end and he proved in the end that he was the best horse in the race and finished off that way. Yeah, Pete, uh, we had a chat to Pete uh, before the race on behalf of Isabel and, uh, you know, he, he mentioned that this horse, probably the best of him, uh, is still to come. He's still a very immature four-year-old. Uh, he's very well bred. Uh, he, always a huge rap of his mum, uh, Little Red Cloud, and uh, there's no doubt this horse has got uh, lots of similarities. Uh, if anything, probably a lot stronger at this point of time. Yeah, he um, just probably lacks a little bit of um, craftsmanship at the minute. He, he is a little bit green and, you know, like um, while she said, he'll, he'll probably um, come back bigger and better the next time he goes, goes out and um, has a freshen up and comes back again. He'll, he'll probably um, come back a better horse again and, like he said, you are probably yet to see the best of him so far. Finally got the win tonight, well done. <laughs> yeah, I know, I was, I was pleased to actually win a race on her. Um, <laughs> it's been so close so many times and, um, and she just deserved to win one. And I know it wasn't the biggest race tonight, but it was uh, well deserved. Yeah, I sort of bring back the clock to the great Southern star. I mean, uh, you know, the biggest <laughs> trotting race here and she went down the nose. I mean, she got beaten by a superstar, make no mistake of that, Tornado Valley, but she was so brave in defeat. She ran a little hard out that night. Yeah, she did. It was um, still hurts that one. It's going to hurt for a while. That that, that getting beaten by a nose. But um, look, she certainly, um, you know, she's she's a horse who gives her everything every time. And um, tonight she was sort of flat in the bend, and she just uh, goes into another gear once she gets to the straight and just tries her best. And that's all you can ask for. And uh, no, I'm um, just yeah, wrapped to be able to get to drive her. Um, yeah, very pleasing that uh, they allow me to drive her. And yeah, it's been good. A night to remember. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Robbie. Um, it's always good to get the support off the trainers and getting the opportunity to drive horses like this is just um, something that you dream of being able to do. And it's um, good, yeah, to, like I said, have the support through the owners and the trainers to be in the position I am now. Yeah, you've really uh, made some uh, big inroads into the game, Ryan. Uh, and just sort of going through your background, obviously, uh, Dad uh, and your family have been involved in harness racing for uh, a long time. You're a little bit of a late bloomer, uh, sort of a bit at the crossroads here for a while, not sure uh, which uh, career path you were taking. Um, no, I was always always planning to drive horses, but um, my dad always told me to get a trade behind you first. So left school when I was 15 and um, went off and done that for nearly seven years. And um, probably, yeah, like you said, come into it a little bit late, but... Probably um, come in a little bit more mature and probably more ready to take on the task. That's all right. He kicked you out of home, told you to go to Michael Stanley's for a while and uh, earn some money. <laughs> yeah, um, well, initially with Mick, I was going to come down for six or 12 months and see how it, how it all unfolded. And I've um, found a partner down here and I've been here two and a half years and I don't look like I'm going anywhere. Well done, Glenn. I spoke to Marg earlier on. I didn't even ask her about uh, Keyang Jackie. She didn't really uh, come forward with any information either. Uh, you've all kept that one nice and quiet. Uh, yeah, no, luckily uh, she was able to um, sprint home over the top of him. But, uh, yeah, she's a lovely filly. She's got really high speed. And um, I think when she can be driven like that more often, uh, she'll be very dangerous. Yeah, well, it was sort of a case, uh, obviously, from the draw. You went back. You decided to tuck her away. Uh, yeah, it just probably um, wasn't as happy with her after she didn't go to, to Adelaide, missed a run there, and um, she just probably just yeah, wanted to have a bit of a softer run with her. She she is a better sit sprinter, and uh, yeah, luckily with a smaller field, and uh, we were able to get a good trail into it at the top of the straight. Um, she was able to do the job up the straight. Her two runs uh, this campaign uh, were against much inferior company, but certainly uh, got the job done well. But tonight was a really big step up again. Uh, yeah, yeah, like she's um, she raced against the good ones up in Sydney as a two-year-old, and uh, Mark put her away and, and looked after her and brought her back this year. And 
Um, she's put a lot of weight on and, and she's just come back a really nice filly and um, hopefully she'll be able to uh, go on with the job and, and race against those better horses. Twenty twenty, and you turned twenty, James. Well done. So that's a pretty uh, great milestone that you remember. Yeah, thank you, Rob. Uh, some people are surprised I've got this far. <laughs> oh, you've done well, mate. Uh, you've just continued to uh, blossom, and uh, another very good performance here by Elmer's Hoof, and it had to do it the tough way. The class prevailed at the finish. Yeah, we we're just sort of lucky to get off the pegs there at the start, and we just had to make it into a dash home, which we were able to, and uh, you know, we had a bit of luck here and there, but. He's a nice horse and he tried very hard tonight. Yeah, he's had some good form line, didn't he? Uh, finished uh, runner-up behind Shoshone Brave three starts ago, one tonight. Sahara Tiger, uh, last start, who's come out running a really good race tonight. So there's been some really good form uh, that he's been chasing home. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, last start, you just have to forget about it. We just couldn't get a gap anywhere we looked. So, you know, he went over the line with uh, a few gears left and it was probably a good confidence run for him. And he, he brought that out tonight and got the chockies. So everybody's happy.